back to another edition of Intense TV. I'm Vic Tribalianti. Aaron Bauer to my left. Pardon the interruption. He does this every time. Broadcast journalist extraordinaire, agent Aaron Bauer. Are you done? Yes. Okay. Coming off the heels of Girls Then Out 9 and 10 very successful AIW shows. For more information, AIWrestling.com. If you missed anything, you can also buy the DVD. Coming up, though, in the coming weeks here on Intense TV, we're going to focus in on the next two big shows, both coming up in the month of November. November 1st, it's going to be Double Dare, the huge tag team tournament. And then on the 29th of November, Hell on Earth. Oh, Hell on Earth. You know, speaking of Hell on Earth. Marriage? We've been talking about Hell on Earth, but let's talk about Michael Hutter. Michael Hutter is not happy. As a matter of fact, he's angry. He is upset with Tim Donst. Should you know how upset he is? Well, I can show you. Because we've got clips. We've got a highlight. We've got an interview that Michael Hutter sent here to Intense TV. Exclusive. And I think we should go to that right now. Tim Dodds, you cost me the absolute championship, a title that made my name, a title that means the world to me, a title I wanted so I can help continue to grow this company, and you cost me it. And you, you claim it's because you represent wrestling, and I'm an entertainer. Yet in a wrestling match at Absolution 8, I defeated you with a wrestling hold. So, as I lay praise upon you, your ability, your skill, your, your upside, you, you, you kicked me in the dick. The dirty dumpster doorknob dick, the schwanz, the jimmy, the gimmick, the rod, the thunder chucker, the lightning stick, OMH's big kahuna. And I respect that. I respect that because you did it to my face. But tonight, at Gleaming the Cube, you did it from behind. And you claim that wrestlers, they stab each other in the back. Well, guess what? Nobody's been stabbed in the back more than me, especially by fat fucking Gravy King motherfuckers. So, at Hell on Earth, you challenge me. You challenge me to what? I've already beaten you in a wrestling match, and you've kicked me in the dick twice. So I think wrestling has gone out the window, and it needs to be a fight. So Tim, at Hell on Earth, Hell on Earth will be brought in the form of no disqualification, anything goes, falls count anywhere, I don't care, barbed wire, baseball bats, whatever the independents have, Get the fucking trash cans full of shit, get the goddamn light tubes, get the fucking barbed wire, bring the flaming table, I don't care, because there is no form of athletic competition you could ever hope to beat me in. And the hell on earth, I'm not just going to defeat you for a second time, I am going to emasculate you. If you need to know what that means, it's cut off your nuts. See you then, November 29th, Tim. If words mean anything, Hunter's pissed. And they mean a lot. <laughs> you do not want to miss Hell on Earth again, November the 29th at Turner's Hall. But let's, let's switch focus. Let's go back to Double Dare, the huge tag team tournament on November the 1st that AIW is going to put on. And there's one of the more interesting teams, Aaron, that's probably in this. You've seen them running rampant all over this company. And that'd be the team of Ricky Shane Page and Bobby Beverly, known as Nixon. Uh, and what? Like hashtag Nixon. Look, if you're not going to do it right, if i got to carry this entire show like I normally do, then, then I'll just carry it. I'll put it, Fine. Push it right on my back and, Fine. and let's carry it on to... Do it. What do I got to do? Send it to the thing, the Nixon guys, or hashtag Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, so, yes, hashtag Nixon. Let's hear words from them. AIW, Double Dare, Nixon, you're talking about two of the best tag team wrestlers in the history of this company. We got this in a bag. Three-time tag team champion, two-time tag team champion, five-time tag team champions. Double dare? We got this. The math is on our side. The talent is on our side. The Duke is on our side. 
Two words, hashtag Nixon. Menacing words from a very prepared tag team of Ricky Shane Page, Bobby Beverly, Hashtag Nixon, heading into the big double dare tournament on 11-1 at Turner's Hall. But you know what? Not only are they focused and prepared for that tournament, they've done some recruiting. And we saw at Girls Night Out the very first female member of Nixon inducted, that being Leah Von Dutch. I'm being joined now by the beautiful, vivacious, marvelous Marty Bell. Took I, the seat, but... I, I kicked Vic out. Whatever. Got a special guest here because I need the scoop. I need to know Marty Bell. You just made your return to the girls' night out. And now seeing that Nixon has recruited Leah Von Dutch, maybe you can give us some insight to your reaction and the locker room's reaction as to this very first female member joining Hashtag Nixon. Hashtag Nixon, Leah Von Dutch. ¿Qué me importa? Eso no importa nada. Nadie tiene que interesarse en lo que está pasando en el locker room de las mujeres. Ustedes son unos perverts, lo que ustedes son. Aquí vienen ustedes a verme a mí. Miren esta cara, miren este cuerpo. EIW no era nada sin que yo estuviera aquí. Y ahora que yo estoy, yo vengo y voy a acabar con esta división. Y ya, punto. Lo que importa, right? Right, right, exactly. You don't That's even know what she said. Oh, snap. She she just served the entire Girls' Night Out locker room. But we're going to go to highlights now after that very first... Thank you. I, I appreciate it. We got rid of him for a little bit. We're going to go to highlights now from tag teams that are involved in the huge Double Dare tournament. That's on 11-1 Turner's Hall. Well, and don't forget to go to AIWrestling.com for all your information for on DVDs and upcoming shows. Yeah, you did all right there. I might keep you around. You guys don't like us. I'm a fan. I don't want you to like me, buddy. Those nice matching outfits you guys are wearing. Real cute. Real cute. If you put your head on her body, I might give you a chance. But I don't think so. Put your fucking fifth grade face. It's early. You'll get worse. It's early. Alright, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, our second matchup of our bonus show, a tag team encounter featuring the return of the submission squad, Evan Can't even, you can't even give me a, like an a introduction, you're the, you're the ring announcer. Hang on there, Ricky Shane Page. I was trying to put over the action in the ring. All right. So okay, well, over. Hey, I'm, I'm okay. sitting here. All right, well, Smart Mark Video Smart taping Mark the show. Video. That is correct. TPI pre-show action. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, and these guys coming far from St. Louis. In case you haven't recognized the voice at the man sitting to my right, it is the one and only Ricky Shane Page. Thank you. Joining me here in the commentary booth. As Davey see, Vega. Let me tell you a little something Davey about Davey Vega. Very technical. The kid knows what he's doing. Brutal strikes. He's a little bit small, but it, the good things come in small packages, as they say. With a big run out of the corner there. Davey Vega, another young man that is just blowing up all across the country. Again, from California to the East Coast and every point in between. Goes out to man. Texas all the time for ACW out there. Uh, these guys travel a lot. I mean, they're in the car driving, putting in their work, and getting it done. You got Pierre Abernathy. Don't you just like saying that? Pierre, Pierre Abernathy. Abernathy. It's like it rolls off the tongue. And now this is our first opportunity to see Matt Fitchie in the ring. 
The other half of the Sex Bobombs. Sex Bobombs. Sex Bobombs. Okay. I like with it. With Davey Vega. Oh, that a beautiful kick. drop kick into the corner on Pierre Abernathy. This kid's quicker than a hiccup. I'm going to put in a lot of old wrestling commentary uh, things in here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to tell you that right now. Right. Old school Ricky Shane. That's right. right. Old blind tag. A little, little tag team wrestling here. Oh! And brutal kicks there by the submission squad. Head kick right up. But he, see, he went over to his partner and got it tagged in. These guys need to watch out for that kind of stuff. And who better to give tag team commentary than a man that made his name in the tag team ranks in a past life? I mean, I did it a couple times. Multiple time AIW tag team champion. Oh, big by Pierre Abernathy. It's all about quick movements when you're tagging. You got to keep on the guy. You got to keep the offense flowing. And you got to cut the ring in half. That's really the most important thing. Now, Ricky, being a tag team specialist that you were in a previous life, now, do you follow the Anderson quote unquote policy of tag team wrestling where you find a body part and work it over? Me? Or do you just like go straight ahead and just attack, attack, attack. I'm in attack mode. I go, I, why attack one body part when I can destroy the entire body? Indeed. You know what I mean? It's all about brutal, brutal offense. And if you just keep it coming, they, there's no need to pick apart a body part. And here we see Evangelistico with a seated abdominal stretch on Davey Oh, Vega. he's got the leg, too. I don't know if you can see that, but he's got he's pulling the leg up off the ground, too. That's really going to stretch pretty much every muscle in your back, your abdomen, your leg. Hence the nameless submission squad. And now Evangelistico just hurling Davey Vega into the outstretched boot of Pierre Abernathy. Getting the tag is Pierre Abernathy. See, now this is something I wouldn't agree with. He's, he's, he's jawing with the crowd. He's leaving his man unattended to. His other man is almost falling in the ring right now. Now using a little chicanery here as he's using the ropes to his advantage on, on DJ Clemens. Get it together, kid. Whoa! Little Rick Rude action on the apron there. Bobby Beverly may have an issue with that. He, I have an issue with that. That was disgusting. You don't put your balls on a man's head like that, all right? And now Evangelistico legally back into the match here. Okay, is there some sort of language? Are we allowed, allowed to cuss or anything like that? Because I said balls, so I'm not. Ricky Shane Page, this is AIW. That's How true. long have you been here? Hey, smart Mark is a new thing, so I, I wasn't sure. Oh! What? Took his leg out and then double stomped the crap out of him. And a tag back into Matt Vichy as he levels both members Coming of the in hot. squad. Clothesline after clothesline. Irish whip across, but no, Pierre Abernathy blocking with a oh. back elbow. Nice. Almost a dance move, but up and over. Oh, look at the Who's agility. Oh, TNA kick followed by a low super kick. Oh. And Another the, double stomp. Oh, the, kneeling super kick. The Sex Bobombs are not here to play. They mean business. Wanting to join the call it possibly the richest tag team division in all of professional wrestling. Uh, AIW's tag team division is is really, really good right now. Better than it's probably ever been, and, and I've been in it since the beginning. Oh, Mark Merrill, eat your heart out, TKO. And what I thought was gonna be a side rush and lace, we've ended it in a face plant. Oh, Rings of Saturn. Rings of Saturn, the submission squad. Will Matt Fitchy be able to make his way to the ropes? He's, and does. He got to the ropes. It's hard to take a man serious when he's wearing purple. Is that just me, or? I, I would not take oh! either of the Sickle Bombs I, okay, lightly. I retract my statement. I took that serious. That was a serious boot to the face. And a, oh, Codebreaker. What is this? Look at this. this. Are you kidding me? What? Get right out of town. That's it. 